everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Anchor Prime 14 port triple display docking station. Anchor did send me the sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything's really detailed for you for USB-C laptops, up to 8K resolution support. This is compatible with Mac OS or Windows and you get 140 watt max fast charging. The backside's really helpful too. They have a great breakout image here of all the included connection options, all the different ports, and you get a breakout of their speeds and top tech specs. So very helpful to see that there. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature, which consists of our two year warranty information. Next, we have our standard power plug and cable here for the unit to your wall, but simple and straightforward US plug. Then we have a USB type C to USB type C cable, followed by the docking station itself with a really cool texture up at the top with anchors logo and branding there. That looks really sleek. Here's a look at the front side, multiple USB type C. We have multiple SD card slots, headphone jack. We have a very tactile and nice knob on the side. Prime logo. On the back, we have all of our additional options and our power cable plug right there. 2.5 gig LAN, multiple USB type A, display port, uh, two HDMI ports, and we have another type C for your computer. And then here's a look at the very bottom. Two long grip feet. And this has a good solid weight to it. Now let's go ahead, let's get this thing set up. All right, so I grabbed my laptop, I plugged in the docking station to the wall outlet, and now we have our language selection here. So I'll cycle through those so you can see the different language options. We're gonna select English, turn the knob to switch, which we've already done, press the knob to confirm, which we've done, and there we go, everything's in English. And now it looks like it's time for us just to go ahead and start connecting some devices and we'll see how that display will eventually change and show us our real time usage there, which is really cool. So I'm gonna to toggle through this really quick, show you we got host, C1, C2, C3, and then we can go back. So we'll go down here too. We can adjust our settings. So there's our power display. Then we can hit settings, we can adjust brightness. Screen timeout, knob orientation, screen saver, clock format, languages, reset, and back. So let's look at our device settings, performance mode. So you can choose with that one, we could adjust the settings, fan off. And then we're back to power there. So there we go, performance mode. So showing you the temps, everything's very detailed there. And that's our display link signal. I couldn't see that from my angle. So if we had those connected, we could see that in back there. So we'll come back to that once we get some devices set up and connected and really see what that display is capable of. All right, so take a look at how we have our laptop connected right now. This laptop doesn't support a Type-C power delivery to it, but it does support power delivery from it. And from that port, we have the USB Type-C cable that was included with our anchor docking station connected there. And we have an ethernet cable from our local network connected here. And good news is we are getting ethernet straight from the docking station. So we don't just have to use Wi-Fi with this laptop, which is awesome to see. And anytime we can route connections through here versus a laptop, that's gonna make it so much easier to take this to and fro just to keep our setup nice and tidy at our desk. So wanted to show you really quick how to install the display link driver. We're gonna need that to connect some monitors to this. So straight from Anchor's website, I actually found a blog from them that has a link to installing it. And we're gonna be using a Windows PC, so we're gonna install that right now. So I just clicked on it. We have the latest drivers here. So we're gonna go ahead and select download. We got an agreement to accept. Go ahead, we can save it. And it's downloading right there. So here it is, we're gonna select the application. We're gonna install it really quick. On the screen, we're gonna select upgrade, finish. So that was it, we got it installed, simple and straightforward. Now let's go ahead, let's connect 
multiple displays. All right, triple display has been activated right here. Take a look, we have three individual monitors connected to our docking station, and we still have the screen on our laptop as well. So we have four different screens, four different displays. You could think of it as one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D, or we could do a different amount of variations. A could be duplicated or one could be duplicated on another one, right? So we could mix and match some of these two depending on what we need. A for the laptop, B and B for a display, A, B and C, A, B, C, D, right? You get the idea, A or B, B, B if you want three of the same screen. There's a lot that you could configure within here, but everything works having the triple display. Now let's have a little fun. Let's just drag this from each display so you can see that they're fully working and operating as they should. Okay, we've dragged it here and now we gotta make it all the way to the last one, which it looks like there it is. It's on that last display too. So we have it across all four unique different displays with our triple display setup. And let me show you with the triple displays detected, what we're working with here. There's the display link signal for each one, and that's correct for the monitors that we have. So right now we're doing two 1080p at 60 and one 4K at 60 as well. So it's very cool that we can see the different monitors here. And you can see the different specs. Again, checking on each connection option there and what we're getting. If I had an 8K monitor, I'd show you that too, but we are seeing 1080p and 4K working just fine. And update on the performance mode. Currently fan cooling level one. Everything looks good so far. Now let's have some fun and see that power delivery. We'll charge a smartphone with the first port on our dock. We just plugged it in. It's currently charging and charging rapidly, which is great to see. Watch on the display here. Our watts is increasing. We're past 10, we're past 15. We're making our way to 20. Very cool. Charging quickly for us, which is great to see there. And then we can quickly just show you that they all work. And again, pick and choose which one you want, depending on the specs that you desire. 210 and 15 gigabits per second. That's gonna be more for transferring data to or from your computer, from your device, if you wanna do some copying and pasting. But for just charging power delivery, we're getting over 20 watts with our smartphone here, charging rapidly. So we got that nice, fast charging there. Let's plug it into that third and final one on the front side. Same story here, no surprise. Look at how cool that is. Fifteen. It's moving on up. Right at the cusp of 20. And again, you could power your laptop, right? There's a lot that you can do here. A lot of functionality with that front port. Now let's grab some SD cards. All right, first up we have a Lexar Silver Plus micro SD card. We're just gonna pop that in the top here. We'll see it identified on our computer. And we're gonna take our test folder, just drag it in here. So you get a feel for the copy and paste speeds. We got about 20 gigabytes of video files on there. So your mileage will vary again, depending on the type of SD card you're using, what you're copying and pasting. But we're showing around 35 megabytes per second right now. Now we'll go ahead, we'll install our Lexar 2000X SD card here. So pop that right in. Showing up right there. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll just take our folder and copy it over. Showing the same 33-ish megabytes per second. Again, your mileage will vary. It's probably not gonna be the fastest that you can get, 
But again, compared to maybe not having it at all right, that's going to be better than nothing. And it's really nice that they include that nonetheless. It just makes the docking station that much more practical. And last but not least, don't forget about those USB type A ports on the back. We have our computer mouse connected to the mouse and keyboard port, but they also have two additional five gigabit per second ports on the back side as well if you want to add other USB devices. Overall, count me impressed with the Anchor Prime docking station, triple monitor support up to 8K, plenty of power delivery via USB Type-C, multiple USB Type-A ports on the back, 2.5 gig LAN, a really cool display that's super helpful and a really fun and tactile knob on the side to control and get exactly where you want. Two HDMI display port, dedicated power, USB-C in and power delivery for USB Type-C laptops. There's a lot to love about this little guy from Anchor Prime.